So we've met a lot of concentration units now. So we've met percent by mass. We've met percent by volume. We've re-met molarity. And we have also met molality. And then we just did uh, mole fraction. That's my X, by the way. And so we've got these five different concentration units. And we've done a few examples of percent weight to percent volume. And we've done a couple of other ones as well. But we have to be able to interconvert between any one of these five. And uh, not only that, we have to be able to interconvert of the ones on opposing sides too. And uh, gosh, what has that given us? That is a total of 10 different conversions. So you have to be relatively happy between all of these. And probably all of these, you have to really start with the definition. So molarity is moles of solute over the volume of the solution in liters, whereas molality is the moles of solute over the mass of the solvent in kilograms. Okay, uh, mole fraction would be the moles of the solute or whatever you're looking at over the moles of the solution. Okay, percent by weight would be the mass of the solute over the mass of the solution. And as a percentage, right, that would be times by 100. And percent by volume would be the volume of the solute over the volume of the solution. Um, times by 100. So it's awfully hard to really go ahead and sort of nail out all these. So we've got 10 different conversions here. I'm not going to go through 10 here, but uh, in each case, you really have to be able to convert between one pair and the other. Occasionally, you might need density, and so you can always kind of bring in density. So remember, density is mass over volume, but you have to remember it's the density of what? Sometimes you're given the density of the solute, sometimes the solvent, sometimes the solution. So always make sure you're using the correct one because you can get mass by multiplying density by volume or you can get volume by dividing mass by density. So you can always go between one and the other. Just be careful you're using the right density value. So you should be able to do any one of these. And this is where the end of chapter problems are amazing and because uh, you can go ahead and you can do as many of these as you like and you've got the answers in the back of the book. But but uh, in principle, I would highly recommend you start these conversions by writing down the fundamental definitions and then just trying to use, you know, things like molar mass and density as ways you can convert between grams and moles and maybe uh, milliliters and grams, let's say. So I'll work one example over the page, but uh, I'm going to have to let you work as many of these as you can. And uh, they're kind of fun. Uh, they're also kind of torture if you don't like this kind of stuff. But they're very logical. So let's give it a whirl.